there, there might be a, a case in some branches, slight possibility in this branch, that there aren't the number of staff needing to go to satisfy the headcount loss we've got to achieve. Are there then going to be staff made to leave on, say, a bumping exercise? Uh, there's two aspects to that, uh, Rob. One, we, we won't be using compulsory redundancy. Uh, we, we, we don't intend to do that. However, we will be looking at, at bumping staff where that is the right thing to do. I know it's a horrible phrase, isn't it? Don't know where bumping it staff. Right. I, I hate, hate talking in terms of what we can do and what we have the right to do and, and what we can make staff do because it isn't the way I like to, to, run, to run a business. But we have the right, we can make you go to another office if it is reasonable. And that's the big thing, if it's reasonable. <laughs> Um, so, so if, for example, uh, I mean, Wigan, Wigan's probably, probably a good example. If we said, look, Wigan are short, Bolton are overstaffed, somebody needs to go to Wigan, then what we'd actually do is we'd have a discussion with every member of staff and say, is there, first of all, is there anybody who would like to go to Wigan? If we can't get to that position that someone voluntarily goes, then we would try and persuade someone. But ultimately, ultimately, it may be that we would have to say to somebody, I'm sorry, you know, someone has to go. It's least inconvenient for you. It's a reasonable journey. Um, we pay your excess travelling. It doesn't cost you any more. So, you know, I'm afraid that from such and such a day, you would have to go to Wigan. Now, um, the union are supportive of that. The union absolutely understand. And they know that we will try and do it in a, an amicable, professional way that actually we, we, we match what people would like to do with what we, would, what we need to do as a business. But sometimes it isn't possible. And you do get these pockets of business of, of branches where you've got far more people than you need, but they don't want to leave. There's nowhere else for them to work um, or where you've not got enough people and, or you've got people who want to leave, but they're, they're on their own places. And it takes it. We've got a team working on it 24 seven trying to, trying to work it through. Um, and, and, and the only th the, I think the, the answer is, uh, Rob, that whatever happens, if, if there was something affecting you that wasn't straightforward, we would come and talk to you and, and try and sort it out. In a, in a professional, friendly, amicable way, without resorting to, it says here, we can make you do this. Yeah, like so I said, the bottom line is you could if you wanted we to. We could if we wanted to, we would always try and avoid that. Because what you end up with, if we're being very frank with each other, what you end up with is a member of staff who's hacked off. And is that really what you want to achieve? I'd rather that everyone who works for us, works for us because they want to, because they're engaged in what we're trying to do, because they enjoy the time at work. And those who've left actually leave on amicable terms and think, I enjoyed my time working at the post office.